The Dutch team, Baron Horst and Bowser. They played well also. Played well also, but I don't know if they are in the shape that uh, they need to win here. But uh, it's great that they made it to the final already. And I think in this concept you never know. You never also know. Find your rhythm. Uh, what a good shot. A uh, little bit luck. Also, we have seen a lot of uh, lucky serves and that can bring you to the king side. And uh, on the king side, you never know. If your side out is on a roll in a short time, you. Uh, you can win it. Doppler Horst, we saw in that previous semifinal, put up some great streaks together. Maybe, yeah. maybe the uh, best streak winning streak that they put up. We'll find out at the conclusion of this. Uh, the Austrian vice champions from the world champions, uh, last world championships, I should say, last year. The natural, the temporarily naturalized Dutchman Stoyanovsky and his partner Alexander Brower world champion and Olympic bronze medalist. Who at the moment made the, the most impression on me? The way they were playing. I think they were really the big block. Right? Yeah, for me the favorites at the moment. What they have shown today, they are uh, they are the favorites. I mean, uh, with, the, with the big block of Stoyanovski. The serve of both of the players, which can uh, put a lot of pressure on the opponents. And then they have a great side out as well. So. The last team is surprisingly good. Yeah. German team. They've been the surprise of today. Yeah. Tola and Wickler, the 21 year old and the 23 year old, respectively, from Germany, our fifth finalists. So we got some really nice young players, young stars coming up here in the final uh, with the Germans. Uh, the Dutch uh, guy Jasper Bouter is a young star coming up. And then uh, the Russian, of course, who's playing with Brouwer. And then we have two really experienced teams. Uh, who played for a long time together already, the Spaniards, Herrera Gavira and the uh, Austrians, Dr. Horst. So we will see what we can bring. Youth for the final. experience. Yeah. Here in the final. Yes, interesting. And maybe also, like we said before, maybe it is tiring, you know, the whole day and warming up again and uh, Maybe the, the elder guys will feel it earlier than the younger guys. Who knows? Perhaps. And it's pretty chilly down yeah, there. Yeah, it's right? pretty chilly. So, and you have to. You can't wait too long to get your rhythm. You know? Particularly in up. this first round where there are five teams, the waits can be long and brutal in the colder weather. The young Germans drew the top card in the drawing of lots. It's kind of poker style. High card wins. They take the king side first. And it looks like the Spaniards, to keep with our uh, youth versus experience theme, it'll be experience serving youth to start here this final round. Alexander Brau is still making some jokes with Gavira, so even though the prize money is interesting, they're still having fun. That is because the clock is yet to start counting oh, down. <laughs> And we are ready to go. Ah. We've seen that out of him all day long today. Big swing in the angle Such from a natural Lundvik. player. It looks so easy. Huh? When you see him jump and hit the ball, it's no effort. A little soft cut shot there from Julius Tola. Showing his offensive range there. He goes bomb angle, slap down the line there for the kill. Great start. Great start for a young German team. Left hander again, second time. I, I really like not, not as hard as uh, Rosenthal can hit it with the left hand, but still, not quite. Just as effective. I just like how calmly Julius Tola got up to that tight pass. Seeing quite a display here early on. We're a minute in, and the young Germans already have five points. It seems like the team really not have figured out yet how they play. Right. I mean, uh, first time, first year on the tour, and uh, yeah, they make easy sides.
That delights the crowd as Stoyanovsky and Brower get to the king side for the first time. In this and now we have the Dutch against the one Dutch guy. 75% <laughs> Dutch. Big ball on the line that time from Stoyanovsky. I hope it was not over Chris Yvero's block, but... I don't think it was. It looked like he dove angle, right? Yeah, he dove angle. What a great set there from Stoyanovsky, and the cut shot goes down for Brower. Nice. And they kind of share a laugh with Great choice. Another. Great choice to do a cut shot here. Everybody waiting for the bomb for Alexander Brower. Tight set. Kavira's on that in the backcourt. Oh. And a big bomb of his own from Adrian Kavira. Now we will see if the side out is as smooth as it was the whole day. Good start for the Spaniards. You can see that breeze is still going pretty strong as the jerseys are flapping in the wind. Bowser's all over that. Vera's so got the angle shot. What's he doing? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Obviously, he touched on the block, but I suspected he was going to have something to say about Christian's set. <laughs> Pablo Herrera, Stop one of the biggest. It. Stop playing is not an option. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Pablo Herrera, one of the biggest uh, setting policemen on the world tour. <laughs> Big serve oh, down close, the middle. Close to Jay Gibbon. Close to Jay Gibbon. <laughs> Jake just likes to gently massage the refs. You know, it's all in good. It's, it's, all all, in good it's not always gentle. <laughs> Big swing down the line that time. He's like so good at balls. And then just off the net, he's so good at putting them down. You know? It's difficult. Just long that time from Gavira. Nice recovery on that play from Pablo Herrera, though. Stoyanovsky swung down on top of him, and he put up a nice hittable ball for Gavira, who just missed. Oh, oh, big block that nice time, block. Christian Varenhorst. Little Dutch on Dutch crime. Dutch, yeah. And they are great friends. Yeah. They know each other already from the youth. That was great timing there that time from Christian Varenhorst, as we saw in the replay. Horst all over the cut shot this time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was a great fake. Did you see his hand? Big bomb. Yeah, it, he kind of shows you that he's going that way and goes the other way with it. Yeah, it's, it's really... Uh, to have the presence of mind to fake with your hand, it's really impressive that time for Horst. It's going to be just long from Bickler. Just out that time from Herrera. Couple service errors in a row. The team's obviously trying to balance serving in and putting pressure on their opponents as we see yet another service error. Bowder's just gonna get this one in, give his chance, his team a chance, excuse me, to score. Oh, nice pick up there from Bowder. Can't put it down, but... Oh, and another roll shot. Going extra high to get over the big fella, Christian Varenhorst. You can wake that guy up, and with his eyes closed, he puts it in the corner. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 17 beers in, he can hit a perfect <laughs> line shot. Yeah. <laughs> Tough set there. Chance for Herrera Gavira. Nice swing there from Horst. Smart, smart. Smart play by Horst. One of those instances where the block is truly your friend. He just went and slapped it high into the hands of Pablo Herrera for the kill. Let's play from Stoyanovsky. Oh. Induces the hitting error. 
What a great play from Stoyanovsky, though, to chase that ball down off the touch. That's what you see nowadays, tall athletes, but really athletes, you know, they, they are fast, they are strong. And it's put away in the cross court from Stoyanovsky. With two teams at five. Brower Stoyanovsky and Tola and Bickler. Oh, that's with the wind. Wow. Seems like the kick side has some wind in the back this time. So they can risk a serve a little bit more on the challenger side. With into the wind. Great look that's at the court That's what you see there. actually. They, they are bombing serves eh? right. all the time. That guy look, always goes back to the line. We got a nice kind of look just a second ago at what the court looks like from the amphitheater's perspective. It's beautiful right here out in front of Central Station here in Utrecht. Young Germans out front here, just about halfway Fire through this first Bauer, round. need some points here. And again, a line. You like that. You would have been standing there enjoying a muffin, maybe a beer. Already ready for that line shot, right? As a defender, I would, at least would, would make him think a little bit, like moving to the line early or stuff like that. You know? yeah. I don't see that too often with the defenders. The kind of fakes? Yeah, the fakes, like uh, move early to the line and uh, make, uh, make the opponent think. Yeah. What, what we said in blocking, like a fake, or uh, you can do that in defense as well. Right, right. The problem I always had if a defender was doing that to me is I could never see them. So their fake wasn't working on me since I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Then, then it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> I hope I hope I will find it out quicker. <laughs> Stoinowski! Oh, boom! Got the back line. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah, that got the back line. That was too fast for the line judge. <laughs> He needs uh, his other glasses on. No. That, I think that might have been over the top of the young German. Oh, Brower? I know, no, that, no. I know that the regular partner from uh, Alexander Brower, Robert Milson, can hit shit out of the ball. But yeah. this guy, Stoyanovsky, can hit some. The extra. I don't know. It's impressive. I think this is a family program, so we say he can hit the poop out of the ball. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry <about that. laughs> nice little shot over the top. The, the line shot you love so much from Gavira. Soft as can be. Just I barely got it. I thought it was the ball too, but no complaints out of Adrian makes me think that the referee's got it correct. Farnos Bowder is under pressure now, they need some points, otherwise they're right. Okay, Stoyanovsky giving the crowd what they wanted to see, the big ball. Nice serve by Alex Horst. Oh, look at this. Oh, just long. What an attempt, though. But it started with a great <laughs> serve again. <laughs> Stoyanovsky holds up the challenge symbol. <laughs> I, don't think yeah. we have, I don't think we have that just yet. There's not even time for it. Just out. Now, first time on the kick side, I think. No, oh, second time. The crowd goes wild. Chance to get on the scoreboard here for Baron Horst about it. They should have put it on orange. Should have had some orange on it, then it would be easier yeah. <laughs> for the crowd. Your national colors, orange and pink. Uh, not pink, not pink. Nice high yes. slide there from Bowder. Right in time. And they're, they pull level with Dr. Horse. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's a correct pull. Left hand got a little sticky there. I think his fingers freeze off. <laughs> it might have been frost. Uh, oh. Just long, just long. Well Bad timing by Doppler here. Yes, sir. And it stays there. Ferreira.
Gregor Gavira not safe either with just three oh. points. It's in German again, or surprisingly. Good. Big swing from Stoyanovsky off the top of the young, tall German. A chance. Bowder's all over it. And the cut shot. He really disguises that well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He holds his hand there. Yeah, but because I see the guys running for the line every time, so... It's like a middle-aged rider Numidor. He does it very well. <laughs> it makes you think about this high line slappy and then just cuts off the cut shot, you know? Just rolls his way into five Olympics, you know what I mean? Yeah, I did it indoors as well. <laughs> Good block there from Herrera. Actually, with a three block, you can do it. In. Just chop it in there. Three, oh, yeah. Three block. Let's see what the Spaniards can do here. We've seen that a lot today, that high line. They will move to the next round, I, I think. Because Side out is so consistent, and let's see if they, if they keep up the good run here. Oh, Stoyanovsky way Stoyanovsky. over. Way over the net. But they are safe for the moment, the Spaniards. Seven minutes to go. <laughs> you can just see like him there is no block. <laughs> Clemens isn't ready to dive that I keep on serving the guy, though. Wow. They're calling this yeah, he, pretty tight today. Yeah, but he's he's okay with it, bro. He said thumbs up. Okay. Big bomb that time from Chris. He hits a heavy ball, too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big boy. And there's no spin on the ball, I can assure you. Not I practiced a lot with him before. <laughs> It's hard to dig. Nice swing there from nice. that time. Nice anticipated. Short set, close to the net. Great footwork. That would have been a different result had Stoyanovsky been there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice or Horse pulling that set just a little farther off with the bigger blocker. Nice. Man, that was going to be just oh, That was a great choice. I think he saw him running by this one. see who's in trouble now, Doppler Horst. Booyah. Nice play by the Spaniards there. Pablo Herrera just keeping his calm, keeping his cool, and playing that ball up to his partner for the kill. Yeah, Doppler Horse, five minutes left. They need some points here. They trail Herrera Gavira by two, but Herrera Gavira on the king side looking to extend that lead. What a pass. Got the touch on the way out of bounds. What a pass to fight off that tough serve from Alexander yeah, Brower. Because uh, they can risk it. Just oh, in the corner. Great serve. That's the one we saw Stoyanovsky do to somebody else earlier. Look at that. Perfectly placed by Andre Gavira. And that is a weapon as well. They let the Gavira serve all the time, and then they have the side out. Great set. Oh, my goodness. I mean, almost an impossible ball to swing yeah. at, but what an unbelievable so set by Pablo Herrera. And the ace oh, serve. Oh, that was the last chance for the Austrians. That well, is a stinger. Yeah, they may get one or two more chances, but will they get to the king side with those chances? And, and they have to make three at least. Nice pick up there. And Great set. Oh, nice play. Great play by Baron Horse and Bowder. 
How well do those teams know each other? Uh, at least we know you break your brower and Christian and Jasper. Big swing line. That's one thing I really like about Christian Barinhorst's offensive game is he just bombs so much angle that you move in there and then he's got that great line swing as well. Just out. Time getting short for the Austrians and you can start to see their heads hang just a little bit. That's the finish line here. Oh my goodness. Great attempt there from Clemens Vickler but a better shot from Jasper Barinhorst. <laughs> the nice ballerina pass. Oh, oh my goodness. Sand monster. And he forgets to jump. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone grabbed his ankle from underneath the sand there. Uh, but they are safe for the next round. One and a half minutes to go. Point number 12 for Brower Stoyanowski. They have won most of the rounds most of the so rounds. far. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, there's another service error. Probably you still need to win the last round. It's all about the last round. That's right. <laughs> you can win Horst, all the rounds, but of course, uh, just sort of giving in to his fate there into the camera as we reach our final minute of round one here in the finals. Service error. Uh, he, he will go for the sky wall. Probably. Don't put him worse. Kick serve? Ah, uh, he's doing something, I think. <laughs> or he's bombing in by full power. Huh. Strange. <laughs> There's no time. Over? There's no time, guys. Can they get four points? What happens in the event of a last place tie? If you're the second one to get there, you lose. I don't know that they're going to get there. You didn't read the, the rules? I, I did. I've West, I know I, the I answer. I can tell you immediately. If I know want. the answer. I would just like to hear you say. As long as we, we haven't been in the situation. And the time runs out. Don't mention it. And they get to four. If they would have had 15 more seconds, they maybe could have tied it up. But that will be the end for Doppler Horst to finish round one here of the finals of King of the Court here in Utrecht, Holland. In just a second, we'll go down to Marloos to have a talk with the Austrian team, Clemens Doppler, Alexander Horst. They played a great tournament all day long today. Unfortunately, it came to an end a little bit early. Let's see if we can't get a couple of thoughts from them. Marlos? Yeah, I'm here with uh, the Austrian guys, Clemens, Alex. What a battle today. Unfortunately, this is the end for you today. Uh, of course, it's a very interesting, exciting new format. We didn't know what we should expect, but uh, I think if you can see, they really did a good job and it's a lot of fun to play. It's something new to play against the time. Yeah, we didn't manage to, to do that in a good way, but it was it was a lot of fun. That's good to hear. And also, I think you guys are famous for always battling on the field, but also, you know, you're always looking for the battle. Um, so this must be extra special for you, right, this concept? Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a perfect way because we can risk on a serve. We play quite good side out. Uh, I'm just a little bit disappointed now that we couldn't make it uh, to the next round, but still, we were in the final of the first King of the Court, so it's uh, good for us. Yeah, and so tomorrow another chance. You're gonna rest a bit tonight, or are you gonna enjoy uh, the rest of the event? Yeah, we're gonna watch the final now for sure, and then we rest tomorrow morning. We go quite early to Antwerp, and we wanna go in the final again. So a lot of rest tonight, and tomorrow the, the party. Yeah, because physically it's also a big challenge, right? You play a lot of games in short time. Yeah, but it's uh, it's fun. I mean, it's for everybody the same way. But uh, you have a little rest in between when you're not on the serve. But I think it's a really good format, format, and I think the people enjoy it a lot. And uh, especially, I was watching uh, the other pools before also, and I think it's really nice to to watch it. All right, cool. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Take a look at a few highlights here from first round of the finals. Again, congratulations to Clemens and Alex uh, Doppler Horse, who played a great tournament all day. Unfortunately, they're the first out of the finals, but uh, some great words from them. And we will see them tomorrow, certainly, in Antwerp.
Again, a solid performance from the Dutch-Russian team of Stoyanovsky Brower. After a slow start by Baron Horst and Bowder, they, they came on strong late. Made a great showing there, and of course, steady play from Herrera Guevara as expected. And the young Germans still continue to impress here in Utrecht. That was the best play of the finals right there. Where Clemens Vickler read the overpass, dropped back and diving backhand flippered it up to his partner. That was my top seed. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. I didn't nice, see to, nice to have I'm you back. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to make a video of the atmosphere. Here. Yeah, it's great. fantastic. Yeah. Just all the entertainment packages they've got. The variety, I mean, it, it keeps the crowd pumping the whole day long. It's a little bit of a long tournament, actually, but it doesn't ever seem slow because the action is fast paced. They do a nice job of filling all the. It's the great, gaps. there's no rest. Yeah. If we had space heaters up here, it might be the perfect. <laughs> Or just a bottle of whiskey to keep us warm. Bottle of whiskey. Oh, no, no. You, you like the warm from the inside. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think with this temperature, you should. <laughs> oh, okay. You like to keep your liver on its toes, huh? You don't like to give it any breaks. <laughs> 16 minutes, second round. Players just trying One to stay drops. warm out there. One team drops out. And then we have the final with three teams. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. The race to 15 there with the final three teams. Yeah, and the prize money for the winner is fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand dollars. It's a nice, nice day yeah, at the office. At the office. Yeah. Eight, seven, Five seconds away five, now from the start of four, round two here three, of the final. Two, Christian Varenhorst to serve his Dutch compatriot or the Russian partner. Oh, what a play oh, there from Gasper Eyes up. About to really feeling it. Great defense by Jasper Bauter this time, twice in a row. On his back, he spikes it at his partner, Christian Berenhorst, to shovel it back over. What a great play there all the way around from Jasper Bauter. <laughs> Berenhorst says, not quite so fast, youngster. That was an incredible dig from Clemens Vickler, though. He yeah. read the line shot, but had to dive short. But it's so difficult. I, I mean, I heard many players. If you dig a ball and you're coming back from defense, not a perfect approach, and then you have to pass Christian Varano's block, it's, it's not so easy. That's not fun. It's not fun. That off the block and out. Great Bowden. start. Great start by Varano's Bowden. Oh, nice here. save, set. nice set. And a big ball wrist away from Christian Varenhorst. What a set there from Bowden. They served through the middle. I mean, they, uh, it was difficult, but they managed to keep the ball in play. Very important. Could be on a roll here. Four points in a row. Another nice save there from Bowder to keep the play alive. Adrian put away in the angle to get to the king side for the first time here in round two. Good short run though by Farnham's Bowder. Four points. Excellent plays from particularly Jasper Bowder at the run. What a nice set. Falling backwards almost. What a play there from Oleg. Oh, the chicken wing stays in the court. Look out. <laughs> that 
that one kind of That's too much for Gavira, but what a reaction. Great dig with his shoulder midway through that rally from Adrian Gavira. Big ball. Hammers is crossed the line. Great swing by Alexander Brower. The average speed of the spikes on the Stoyanovsky Brower team has to be upwards of 100 kilometers an hour, right? Enough to poke through the block of Christian Barrenhorst that time for Brower. Stoyanovsky is hitting, I would advise the defender to wear a helmet. <laughs> Great. Oh, but a nice roll shield as well. And Gavira surprisingly close to running that down, considering how hard Stoyanovsky typically hits the angle. I thought you would say how old he is. <laughs> I can't make that comment when I'm, you know, 10 years older than you. <laughs> Court slap down that time from Stoyanovsky taking a little bit off of it and sharpening the angle. If you can make those sharp angles, you can imagine how difficult it is. You have to be there as a defender. You can't run it down, and that opens the whole court. Right. So it's a big advantage. Nice timing on that swan that time from Pablo Herrera. Oh boy, nice. nice read from Julius Toll, the pull, but the shot too was even too good. Yeah. Like we say that sometimes, you can do everything right and still not win. Right? Because I mean, the play is too good. The play is too good. And these guys, I mean, they practice it hours and hours. They can put it close to the line every time. That helped Herrera don't his, don't out. Don't his time. favorite part of the game as well? Probably. Yeah, I think that that is a skill. I mean, that it is a skill. Years yeah. of, of practice. Oh. Yeah, the veteran is going to win that more often than not. I think the attacker is at the advantage there, right? Because they have some momentum coming yeah. into that. The blocker is just kind of static. And another nice, smart veteran play there from but two, clo two sets close to the net. I don't know if it's windy or not. It doesn't seem like too windy. Looks like maybe they're trying to compensate for the wind, and if the wind doesn't catch it, it drifts a little bit close to the net, right? That one's perfect. And yeah, but for the block, it's also perfect. <laughs> Still <laughs> close to the net. What a block. Oh, my goodness. Nice replay it's there. Dark. You see, yeah, it, uh, there was a shadow looming over Herrera's head at that. Swinging across court for Brower. Nice swing. Is uh, one million seven hundred fifty-eight thousand nine hundred seventy-eight kill at the angle. <laughs> <laughs> and one shot line. And yeah. Let's take it. So why would you do it? Huh? Keep on hitting it cross court. Yes. Nice cut nice shot. Cut shot. I really like the play in the middle of that where Christian pulled his hands in case Brower was going to try and joust. His partner, Jasper, was ready behind him and gets the nice put away in the cut shot. Oh. That's a little tight. <laughs> it looked like he might have gotten it, but there was a little bit of sand there. <laughs> Just for tries, but he knows it's uh, no sense. Yeah, he's he's feeling it defensively so far in this second round, so he thinks everything is going to be up, which is a great place to be defensively. Nice little slap down by Clements Bickler off the left hand of Pablo Herrera. And the Germans need some points. Nine minutes ago, and they're still at zero. Nice swing there for their first point. And Bowder oh, was there before. He knows the line. Is his favorite. Oh, oh shot there. 
such a great shot. That looked like it was off the middle of his forearm. Yeah, so he was still looking on the other side when the ball dropped. But still, amazing control. Yeah. Oh, look at that flying one arm dig. Oh, oh. they run into each other, unfortunately. Great stab just to even touch that ball by Clem Vickler. But he's still in the game. Eight minutes to go, only two points behind it. Number two. Big ball yeah. from Pablo Herrera that time. Cross court, Brower can't retrieve. Nice high swing from Pablo Herrera off the hands of Christian Barenhorst. Just a veteran, right? Just calm and knows the big yeah. fellas up there. That's gonna be oh, tight. That's a bad set. Good play to keep that alive, wow. What a play from the Spaniards. Just composure at its finest right there. Look at the jumbo. Just misses wide. Oh. Right shot. Just overcooked it a little bit, right? That's oh. a Great serve. Oh, that, that was it. That, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always confusing to me when the rope bounces and we can see it. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's a sand, but most of the time it's the ball hitting it. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was too close to the line, Judge, for him to jump. Yeah. Or the glasses are. That's not good. He doesn't have his reading glasses on for the close-up stuff. Big, big there, point. There was one, just like you said, not a lot of spin on that. Hard to dig. Great serve handled by Jasper. Slap down the line. Oh, look at this. As a defender, I feel also more comfortable if someone has a nice swing with some spin on it because you know, right. with a guy hitting that hard like Christian with all his weight and it's a flyer, you know? Yeah. He can right right up in your face. <laughs> yeah, that's a big that's a bigger concern for you than for me. Yeah. Getting hit, <laughs> getting hit in the face can only do improvements right. to my face. Yeah. You're, I wanted to make that joke. <laughs> And it will damage mine heavily. It will damage your <laughs> We call that your money maker. <laughs> Don't want to damage the money maker. We have been here too long today. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, play wow. there, Wickler. Left hand again. Left hand. We've seen he's comfortable using his left hand, and he does so very deftly there, wiping that off the Herrera block. Is that a touch? Is that, that a is, touch? No, uh, he touched that. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah he okay. gets it, he gets it. <laughs> nice show of yeah, sportsmanship yeah. there from Stoyan. He was doubting a little bit, like, <laughs> we are talking about $50,000 here. Yeah, that's right. Do I give a touch this time? But they are so oh. comfortable in the lead, so. Some more great defense from Bowder. Short shot's going to be oh, picked up. Oh, but the Germans are coming. It's getting interesting now, the scores. And that one's going to come on. Down. Come on, Chris. Yes, night rally. That's what we want to see. Lion? Yes! Bumps hey. the block! <laughs> All allowed to continue because of the great defensive play of Jasper Bowder there. And the great. nice chase of Christian. Great, great chase down by Christian, obviously, in the middle of that. Oh, hey -oh. Oh. That is what we call <laughs> cerveza. You owe us some cerveza tomorrow. <laughs> Adrian Gavira. Proving even the best of athletes. I think it's a plate of paella you can get. Paella? Yeah. <laughs> Extra shrimp in my paella, please. Nice put away there from Stoyanovsky. They go to the king side. The Germans, off the Germans with their four points. Oh, what a nice pick. pick up. And, and go oh, oh, look at that. Oh, chest, chest up. A great defense again. What a rally. She's what a, some great skills to that. I don't know if I've ever seen that, a guy trying to overhand yeah. and miss and, and dig it with his chest. That was awesome. Is that a double touch? And not if he swings and misses with the, with the hands. 
But the uh, tomahawk dig from Clemens Vickler was unbelievable in response. Look at that slap down. He's so precise with that line. He kind of has like a, a noodle vibe to his arm, but there's so much power behind it. That's going to be just long, though. Can be a big advantage not being that big on the beach, you know, like really light, weighted. Yes. Yeah. We had uh, Alexander Huber, but he, he could still, the Austrian guy was really light weighted, but. Even Robbie Seidel, his partner, yeah. is, he's very light. He's taller, but he's still light. I think that's one of the things that makes uh, Taylor Crab so good. Because yeah. he's just walking on top of the sand, right? And Phil Dowell <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, he's really tall, but he's really high nice footed. A great yeah. athlete. And, uh, he moves really easy. Right, that's very true. Compare that to Alice. Right, yeah. It's, it's heavy and uh, sinking to the bottom of the sand every step. <laughs> Touch on the block there on his way out. Brower Stoyanovsky at eight points to lead this round two. Bowder's on it again with some great defense. And oh! cut shot. Gonna fall just short this time. But I think they're. Oh, well, I guess they're not safe. They're right there next to Tony. Yeah, 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 it's getting really interesting. Two minutes on the clock. Rara Gavira. Oh, that's oh. a great diving save from Stoyanovsky. And it puts it in the net. Oh, that's the first time I saw that. I thought Today. for a second there, Herrera let him off the hook with that knuckle pokey. But they are, they are pretty safe with nine points. Ready to go to the final. Put away cross court from Andreas Gavira, and time is getting short. Gavira goes very close to the safe zone as well. I think they're safe. The Germans are going to have one, maybe two more chances, and they're going to need some points. Another nice look and slap to the angle for Andreas Gavira. This is probably going to be it for them. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh nice. ever so slight. <laughs> I didn't see the line moving. So I didn't I think see it. it I think yet. it's out. With the whole circle down, I think that's a good call. No time for the replay. And unfortunately for the Germans, no time for them. I think either. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't see the ball drop though. <laughs> Brower watches that ball out, and they will take the king side, perhaps the last time. And round two here for the fun. Nice play out of the bottom of the net. It's just out. Oh, Germans. The Germans, can they overtake Baron Horst about it? Send it up, big fella. Oh, just send it up. Just make a mistake. Hit it out. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. What is he doing? Oh, Christian, oh, what are you doing? So now we're going to find I out think, what I think he wanted to. Uh, I, I think he wanted he to wanted make a mistake. Are you kidding me? We, we oh, now Christian. find out what the tiebreaker is here. Farnos, what are you doing? Just make a mistake. <laughs> this, uh, the growing he's, pains he's of the two format. Too sporty. Too sporty, yeah. I don't know, I mean, he hit that ball. He you wanted to hit it. He hit it full well. power. He wanted to hit it out, I think. Or, I mean, how but then, well. But then do it like Alexander Brower and hit it to, to the stance. You, know? you got to just keep it in the air for 10 seconds. What is happening now? We're, we're going to have to determine what the tiebreaker is between Baron Horst and Bauta and Tola and Vickler. I think if Christian tried hard enough, he could maybe hit above the train station. We just hear that the Germans are out. We're getting word initially that the Germans are out. Maybe because they were the last to get to six. 
So, with the tiebreaker, six to six, whoever gets the six first moves on. Correct, so the Germans are out because they were the second to reach six points. To the delight of the Dutch crowd, Baron Horsebauer will move on to the final three. We'll set the scores back at zero, and it'll be a race to 15 points or 20 minutes, whichever comes first. And fittingly for this tournament in Utrecht, Holland, we have two Dutch teams in the final. One and a half. One and a half. The newly adopted Dutch son, Oleg Stoyanovsky. There's nothing Dutch in that man. <laughs> There's nothing Dutch. He does have an orange shirt on, though. Let's go to Manus to uh, speak with the Germans. Okay, guys, here we are again. That was so close. There was even a moment where you had to wait for the decision. How does, how does that make you feel? Yeah, it was such a tough battle. We tried everything at the end. And I'm pretty proud because we, we believed the whole time and uh, that we, we were able uh, to get the points. We were all the time down. And uh, yeah, at the end it's a tie and they had the early one, so so they have earned it. But uh, I'm really proud. The, we wanted to keep pushing and uh, keep believing. And I think we made it. Yeah, because anything is possible. That's what you saw. In the end, you made a crazy comeback. So that's, that's good on you. Yeah, I think uh, this is king of the court. You can always come back and make the points. You need just a minute in the end and then you can do three or four points in a row. And then you're maybe in front of the, on the, the standing. So this time we didn't make it, but tomorrow is another chance. Okay, so no crown today, but tomorrow you're gonna battle again. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Great that you guys are here and that you fought hard for the crown. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Take a look at some highlights from round two of the finals. Congratulations again to the young German team, Julius Toller and Clemens Wickler, fourth place in this inaugural King of the Court event. And they really played well. They were a victim, the first victim of the tiebreaker. <laughs> they played some great volleyball all day long and were truly a delight to watch. We will see a lot more of them in the future. That's the truth. Absolutely. You know, as uh, an American, you know, we speak English and only English. So I really appreciate how well-spoken everybody is and how gracious everybody is in English. Yeah. It's really uh, it's really quite impressive. And, uh, At least everybody is trying. Yeah, everybody's trying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got some line dancing going on in the crowd here. <laughs> I like it. Oh, nice. oh, dancing kid oh, back. guy again. Oh. Same guy. <laughs> he loosened up. He's here to perform. You can't see that on the screen, but here in the stadium, there's a young guy going crazy. Great dancer. I'd like Christian and uh, Jasper Barenhorst Bowder to put on a performance in the final three because they narrowly escaped defeat. Yeah. So sometimes you get rejuvenated, right? Final round coming up, Herrera Gavira, Brower Stoyanovsky, Baron Horst Bowder battle it out for the very first King of the Court title. <laughs> I love that that kid works in his bow into his dance routine. It's fantastic. A little bit of the dance cam as we wait for the final round. Just encouraging the people to get up and move. It's probably a good idea. It's a little bit chilly. As we pass 9 o'clock, it's 9.30 at night here. Working our way into the evening. 
Did you see the program for tomorrow already? No? You did see it. What's that? 8 a.m. bus ride to Antwerp? All right, just moments away now from the final round. Looks like we're going to see Herrera Guevara starting off on the king side. The up ref climbs the tower. Looks like we're getting ready to start here. First to serve will be Alexander Brower. Oleg Stoyanovsky. And the Spaniards. Spaniards on the king side. First chance to make some points. 20 minutes on the clock. Ready for the big 15. final. Again, just using the block to his advantage, Adrian Gavira. Nice line shot there from Pablo Herrera. Two early points for the Spanish team, the veterans. Oh, nice recovery. And off the hands. What a touch. Oh. Smart play by Herrera. It was close in the block and just hitting the top of the hands. That's one of those ones I wonder if Stoyanovsky pulls his hands down. Yeah, Where yeah. Oh, I, uh, for sure it would have been uh, out of the safe. Over by the Volksbahn over there. Chrissy Farnon does it sometimes. He yeah. knows it. When it's close to the net, he pulls his hands back. And I love that. <laughs> Nice touch there from Bowder. The Spaniards look pretty, pretty fired up, to be honest, at the beginning of the set. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> there I shouldn't have said that again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Bowder was all over both of those shots. Great moves by him defensively. They get their first shot. Oh my oh. goodness! <laughs> how, how does he reload the cannon that quickly is my question. Let's look at this real quick. Just be that tall. Boom, but then the... Oh, oh. yeah. Jeez, quick, quick arm move, quick arm move from there. Oh, big block oh. from Pablo Herrera. We've seen him make some good blocking moves today. And that's their weakest point, I was saying before. I still believe that. Though. Relatively speaking, of course. Yeah, relatively speaking. Nice swing there down the line from Adrian Gavira, and they take a four-point lead over the other two teams from Holland. Oh, great serve. Oh, my goodness. Nice pull dig from Stoyanovsky. Oh, Adrian's on that, it. That set was too quick for Alexander Brower. Oh, the jump what a great <laughs> shot. <laughs> Amazing shot. Adrian with the fist raised, and rightfully I mean, so. That is a great shot. Just an ankle breaker and perfectly placed. Uh, and if the other teams don't watch out, they are gone. Yeah. And look at that. He follows yeah, it up, up with a slicey, dicey cut shot. Slicing. No timeouts also in this game. No timeouts. Yeah, that's an interesting. That would be an interesting timeout here. 
they're swinging. What they're feeling they? it right now. Oh, I couldn't see it. That was right in the corner. He tucked it in. Uh, eight points in here. The winner. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Saved by Herrera there. Little Viper? Little Viper. Little yeah. Viper there. Oh, the Viper. <laughs> we call it Snake. The Snake? Because the Viper is going to sting you, you know? <laughs> Bite you in the neck. Nice dig there from Brower. Can he put it away? Oh, oh he doesn't. He doesn't. This is uh, turning one into one of a the round. rare bits of miss hits by Alexander Brower, especially in, in uh, transition. He's so good normally by putting the ball down. He's even speeding it up and hitting. We're gonna need really to fast. see some service pressure here from the Dutch teams. Nine points. Ooh. Was that in? No, that just missed wide, but it was very, very And close. they have to risk now, because otherwise they are they're going to win easily. But Christian, oh my goodness. Christian chooses for the, Farinos chooses for the easy serve. But Pablo with a great I turn down the line. They have to risk it. The mistake is no point, so to get them out of there. Oh, there's the mistake that yeah, everyone was looking for. Stoyanovsky and Brower now looking to make a run. Both Dutch teams in a 10-point deficit. They got three Dutch players. One of them has to win. One of them has to win, you would think. Yeah, hold on. Come on. That's one. It's going to be tough. It's going to be Spanish tough. Teams. Five, five side outs for the Spanish team. But if you can keep them off the king's side, obviously, they can't keep advancing. Stoyanovsky. Oh, that was just long. Oh, first mistakes in the marriage. First, first, first. Uh, how do you call it? It's interesting, though, at one point, if Herrera Guevara were to close this out, they still take second place by nature of their one side out. That's a big. That's a big thing, both ah, money-wise and kind of prestige-wise. Yeah, because it's almost done. We only need five, we only need eight minutes, maybe. It's possible, yeah. They're three side outs away, and they are rolling right now. We talked about it all day. The that's an anti-climax for the spectators. Unfortunately, yeah, that's an ace from that's Christian. That's an ace, and we needed that one. There we go. To get some excitement back in the game. <laughs> Get the bombs out of it. Yeah, I love it. That one just long. Yeah, for sure, Herrera Gabir can they risk it there, sir. They bombed it, sir, for sure. Oh. Yeah, that is a bomb. That is a big serve. But a great reception by Grace. Oh, it gets on the board. All right. Level at one are the Dutch teams. Yeah, there's time enough. I mean, that's not the problem at the moment. Uh, oh, that's, that's a bad shot. <laughs> Way too high. Brower saying thank you. This is how you get an angle shot and puts it away. Pauta looks a little bit tired to me, so maybe they are. It is really. Wearing them out at the moment. Oh, hey, sir. Oh. <laughs> Adrian and Pablo Herrera Guevara just. If in they the close zone it down right now, now they, they deserve to win this too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even if it takes 13 more minutes, they deserve to win with this display. They're on fire. Two more points. Yeah, they, they found their best rhythm of the day, and they've been yeah. in good rhythm pretty right much moment. all day, but yeah. they found it at the right time. Oh. oh! Didn't we speak too fast? Can Stoyanovsky and Brower make a 14-point run here? Yeah. If one team is able to do it, they can. Yeah. They've shown it today. That's one. Great swing by Alexander Brower. Down the line. Ooh, just missing wide, Andrea Gabira. Right, that's so smart. That's the only thing they will do now. Bomb every serve and hope they make another ace. Nice shot there from Stoyanovsky. I like 
that call defensively from, Pro, uh, from Baron Horst. Uh, good serve again by Maria Kavira. Great set. Uh, great set by the Russian. Great set. That's not an easy ball to hit either. No, no, no. Particularly the second. And that was a big serve. Yeah. Another great set. First task here, that what I said, big serve, great board, difficult. Yeah. Fighting for the second spot at least, for the moment. Oh! Oh! First and almost able to recover, and the Spaniards are back in the kick side. Two points away from victory. It was looking like it might have been a 15-0-0 affair though, so it's nice to see that we are fighting back. We've got some fight back. I mean, Mistake or an ace? That's the only option here. That's what Why? they're trying to do. But the time is ticking. The time is ticking, yeah. Well, it's going to take a long run in any event. Oh, so that serve was too easy. Chance for an easy side out. And they are at match point. Great side out by the Spaniards. There it is! Oh! <laughs> Keeping him alive! Great serve by Farhouse! Keeping hopes alive for all of Holland. <laughs> uh, they really have a chance here, though, to take the second, second place, second basically. Spot, yeah. With ten minutes, it's still... There's plenty of time, yeah, certainly. I mean, but with a Spanish team risking every serve, it's hard to make a run now. It's difficult, but... And even the, the other Dutch team is risking, you know. What Great set. set. Oh, it was in! It was in, yeah. The line judge. <laughs> that line judge having a rough night. <laughs> Christian uh, Farinos is really <laughs> trying to convince the ref, but... Gee, that is... Uh... Oh, now a bit going. We're at match point again. Match point again for the Spaniards. I'd like to see that serve it's the a matter of time. against the Germans at the end of uh, round two, where he just throws it up and hits it as hard as he can. Yeah. It's pretty close to it there. And... There it is. And you're... Inaugural ah. Kings of the Court, Andrea Gavira, Pablo Herrera. Herrera. Well done. You predicted yeah, yeah, it. They deserved it. They deserved Their side out game was just too steady all day long, and they yeah. really found a groove here in the finals. Congratulations to them. Congratulations uh, to the so Dutch that's, teams. That's uh, really interesting to see if, if the side out is that important, you know? It's maybe more important than uh, in the block defense. Oh, it certainly will be because that's how you score. Uh, so they really capitalized on every opportunity that they got on the king side to score those points.